just around the corner. And dietitian Rebecca Scritchfield is here with a creative idea for helping celebrate mom. And where are we going to start? You've got a bunch of creative <laughs> ideas here. How about breakfast in bed for mom? I know as a mom, I would love that. Yes. <laughs> now, how do you do breakfast in bed and do it the right way? Well, my goal is to make it easy on dads. Okay. So I use my husband as a litmus <laughs> test to see how easy I can get it. And it is super easy. Lower your expectations, yeah, exactly. make it simple for them. <laughs> so hard boiled eggs the night before, pair with some fruit, and then I've got these yummy kind breakfast bars. Which you know I love kind. These right. are like my new favorite. Um, they're made with whole grains, 100% whole grains, in five super grains. So you have quinoa, amaranth, buckwheat, wow. millet, and oats. All these lovely flavors, including a chocolatey flavor, um, raspberry chia, honey oats, blueberry almond. Um, they're very delicious, easy and convenient. They go great with coffee or tea. So not just on Mother's Day, but any busy morning. Sure. Um, and even as an exercise pre-fuel, I like it. That's one of the things I'll do before I, um, you know, get a workout in. I want to fuel myself up. Really and that, nice. You know, those ingredients are going to be Simple good. Simple and easy. Yes. For lunches or dinners on Mother's Day, you know, mm -hmm. we don't want to ask mom to cook. <laughs> what can we do that's simple for dad? I like getting the whole family involved, like a do-your-own taco station. Okay. So dad and the kids can pull apart rotisserie chicken, chop up your own vegetables, and then people can make the tacos the way they want. For Cinco de Mayo, that also sure, works, so exactly. do it tonight. Um, and then what I have here is a new guacamole from Sabra. It's called Veggie Fusions. So these are really cool. They put vegetables in the guacamole, too. Wow. Um, it just adds a different flavor profile. Yeah and makes it taste nice. So this is the Southwest version, which, you know, is a good pairing with something like tacos, but they also have a garden vegetable, has a hint of basil and also mango lime. Um, and so it's a great option to have, especially when you do these unofficial meals, which is another good idea for Mother's sure. Day. And this is like what I call that time where you're either busy or somebody surprised you to come over and you want to whip something out. I always have things like veggies, cheese and crackers, and also hummus as well. Um, with the Sabra hummus, you want to go for like two scoops a day of hummus. That's going to help you meet your bean requirement hmm. for nutrition because hummus is made with chickpeas. I always go a couple scoops over Yes, because I love it so much. <laughs> I would not uh, mm -hmm. discourage you from that. Um, but what's, what's nice about these unofficial meals is that you can gather around, you don't have to put a lot of effort, and you can enjoy each other's conversation right. and still eat, you know, something delicious. Yeah. Dinner doesn't have to be. Stressful. Exactly. Right. Right. Let's right. talk about the green beans. Yes. So we know moms love their vegetables. Salads are great. But if you want to kind of do something special, looks like you put a lot of work into it, you can roast your vegetables like I'm showing with these green beans. And a super convenient shortcut is to use really a quality marinade or dressing so I chose Tessemes here because this these are organic dressings and um, dips and marinades and condiments that they're made with the stuff that mom would make at home anyway um, so they're organic there's no additives the no fillers out of it all, the all the work right. in fact three brothers took their mom's recipes oh, wow. and made these so um, it's mom approved exactly and um, yeah there's a lemon um, and a balsamic that I use for those awesome looks delicious yeah. Yes. I'm taking the rare opportunity to show some baby food. Okay, I was going <laughs> to say. Because what makes us moms, right, you know, and especially correct. for new moms, there's actually um, a survey that Beechnut did that showed that most parents are confused about what they should do when they start feeding their kids. And interesting in the research, what it shows by the time the kids are one, their fruit and whole grain intake decreases and sodium and sugar goes up. The, the sugar per day is like drinking a cup of soda per oh, day. Wow. And it's not intentional. Parents aren't trying to do it. So what I recommend is if you eat well, your baby's going to eat well. So you include the beech nut that's just very simple ingredients. It literally says, if you look at the label, just sweet potatoes, just organic peas. Um, they've got a lot of varieties to choose from. And then you give them finger foods that they could, that would be nutritious that you would eat yourself, like tuna and, and rice. And real quickly, we real have quick. to go, okay. but I want to know okay. about the Okay, so we got mousse. it's House Foods Organic Tofu. It's made with chocolate and bananas. Tofu is really nutritious. It's got nine essential amino acids, plus your protein. It, this House Foods Organic in particular is non-GMO with U.S.-based soybeans, which Looks is really delicious. important. It's a great way to get your awesome. extra... You Deserted. <laughs> Always have great stuff. Happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you. And where can everyone go for more information? They can go to my website at RebeccaScritchfield.com. Rebecca, always great to see you. And we'll have more of Let's Talk Live right after the break.